Hello! This is going to be a short video on how to apply to Sitting Bull College. So right now I'm at our website sittingbull.edu. If you haven't reviewed this already, I'd like to show you the Academics tab. This has our schedules, our academic calendar, and it also has degrees and certificates and our course descriptions. So once you decide you would like to apply to Sitting Bull College, you are going to send an email to Lisa McLaughlin, such as this draft here. Hello, I would like to apply to Sitting Bull College. Can you please send me an application? Thank you, and your name. Once Lisa receives that email, she's going to send you an email from DocuSign, which is going to have the application. And that is going to look just like this. So the email is from DocuSign NA3 system, and it is going to say, it shows that it's from Sitting Bull College, and it says Lisa McLaughlin sent you a document to review and sign. So I'm going to click Review Documents. And once that loads here, it is going to look like this. And it says, please review the documents below. I'm going to hit Continue so I can complete this application. So here's the application for admissions, and that is first. This is the exact same application as our one that was just a fillable PDF. So you will fill out all of the red bubbles and the red boxes, which is the required information. So you have all of your information, your street address, you have the option to add an attachment here, and you are gonna scroll down, complete all this information, and then you're gonna sign it. It automatically puts in the date and the time. The next one you have to complete is the TRIO application. Every student has to complete this your name, your date of birth, and you're just going to keep completing all this. You do have the option to attach another document, and then you will sign it. It, again, does have the date and the time automatically on there. The next one is the directory information. This is just saying the FERPA policies, really. You will read and agree to those. You will put in your student ID if you have that, your date of birth, and then you're going to sign this form as well. Then you have the institutional refund policy. You will review all of this and then sign stating you've read and you agree to that. We then have the drug and alcohol policy, random drug searches, list of federal trafficking penalties. And there's quite a few of those to read through. And then we have the drug and alcohol prevention program. So once you have read and agreed to all of that, you will then sign that. And then the counselor will sign off on that as well. Here is a request for an official high school transcript. So here you'll put your high school information and then you will sign that. The next one is release of tribal enrollment verification. If you are not enrolled, you will still have to complete this information, but it will not go any further since you are not enrolled. You will sign this form even if you are not enrolled or a tribal member, and then you will hit finish. Once it is finished, Lisa will get a notification and she will say thanks for applying to City Mool College and then any follow-up information will be sent to the email that you put on the beginning of this application here. So make sure you are checking your email after a day or two of submitting the application because you will have follow-up emails from maybe financial aid, TRIO, and all of that. If you do have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me, Lindsay Sandquist. I am the Outreach Coordinator at Sitting Bull College. My number is 701-854-8019, or you can email me at lindsay.sandquist at sittingbull.edu. Thank you for choosing Sitting Bull College, and we hope to see you next semester.